Wasn't there also a map of Greenland that showed it underneath the ice? Yes, there are. And 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 uh, another intriguing thing, I me- I mentioned the Piri Reis map just now. Shown on the Piri Reis map lying off the east coast of North America is a large island with a row of megaliths, like a road of megaliths running up the middle of it. Um, that island is in the exact place of the Grand Bahama Banks. Uh, and... and uh, on this one? Yeah, it is. Um, but can I point it out to you? Because sure, the map yeah. sure. rotated. It's, um, <laughs> it's there. That's right there. Okay, this thing. That one. Okay. Right here. That's great that you can bring this up, Jamie. That's really amazing. Good. So this island is sitting there off the southeast coast of North America. Look if at the way they used to draw things back then, too. And, and what you see running down the middle of it is this road-like feature of, of, of mm-hmm. Megalith. I'll yes, point them out again. I see. Right there, yeah. These here. Mm-hmm. These here. Now, the thing is... It was a long period of my life when I, I did a lot of scuba diving and I was looking at, at underwater structures. And one of the sites I dived on was the Bimini Road, which is in the Grand Bahama Banks. Mm. And the Bimini Road is exactly where that island is. And the, the, here's the issue. I don't care whether the Bimini Road is natural or man-made. For me, the mystery is that it is shown above water on that map. And the mm. last time it was above water was thousands and thousands of years ago. So for me, this is all evidence that we shouldn't dismiss the possibility that our ancestors had achieved a level of technology where they could explore and map the world's oceans. We shouldn't dismiss that. There it is there's, right there. So the we Bimini don't road. know what those stones are, how they were created, but... Boy, do they look artificial. That's Yonaguni in Japan yeah, we're Japan. looking at now. But the, Go the, back to that image, Jimmy, the, the last image that we were just looking at. Look at that. I mean, yeah. that looks so and, man-made. And, and, and you can see that it's rather like the, the, the pattern that's shown on the, on the island in the, in the map. How the, deep is that today? Oh, it's not very deep. It's about 20 feet. And, but we think that that was above water at oh, some point. It was, it was definitely above water during the last ice <coughs> age. Uh, when it when it finally went underwater, it may have been as late as eight or nine thousand years ago. Is there anything else compelling that's in the immediate area that seems to indicate that there was some sort of a man-made structure? Well, nobody's looked for it, uh, uh, and the whole effort of archaeology has been to dismiss the significance of the Bimini Road. Why would they dismiss that? Well, they say See, it's just to me. They say it's totally natural. Come on, <laughs> is it? Go, go back to that image yeah, again. At some other ones. Listen, but but well. This back, is the argument. Go back to that image that we just saw. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, are you sure? As somebody who spent a lot of time diving on the Bimini Road, I can tell you I absolutely do not think it's natural. I think it's a man-made structure. But the argument is that it's a kind of beach rock that forms in these blocky formations. Does it? Is that yes, right? beach rock does form in blocky formations. But here I believe that the beach rock has been used as a construction material. Mm. But I repeat... The key issue is not whether the Bimini Road is man-made or not. Mm -hmm. The key issue is that it features on a map above water. And that is a dating project. That tells us that somebody was mapping that bit of the world when it was above water. And that that takes us back a very long, a long way into the past. The, The one that you just pulled up. Yeah, look at that one. That's a stunning place. It's an, ama- wow. it's an amazing sight. It's just like the odds of that being in that order with those uniformly sized rocks for s- how long is that? Oh, hundreds of feet. It's, <laughs> it's a huge, it's actually shaped like the letter J. It's a, wow. it's a giant underwater structure. It's really, really an enormous thing and very, very beautiful to dive on. And there's lots of very gentle, sweet nurse sharks down there that you can play with. As so well. that looks much more like random. That's more random. And bits, yeah. of, it, bits of it do look more random. Mm. Um, and bits of it look highly constructed. I would not, um, I would not seek to, to claim that the Bimini Road is absolutely man-made. My mm-hmm. claim about the Bimini Road is it's really fucking weird that it appears on a map above water, yes. uh, a map that was drawn in 1513 based on older source maps. 